shit, James. James came back. He's fucking in the next room. That's beautiful. Swept kicked by a motherfucker. That's, that's some fucked up shit, man. I never got swept kick again. Every time I got into a fight, first thing I did, I was jumping. Like, fuck that. I know your first move now. Boom, got you with the, the counter punch. Any wrestling fans in here tonight? I know there is. I would not fight a motherfucking wrestling fan. As soon as you turn your back, you know some dumb shit's gonna happen. They never play fair. You're like, fucking take them down. Like, yeah, what's up? Yeah, I'm the fucking best. All of a sudden, you turn around. <laughs> what the fuck, man? You in the nuts, dude? Out of all the places? Or they poke you in the eye and shit, like the most bitch move, or you turn around and all of a sudden you fucking got a concussion because you don't know what happened, but it was a metal chair. <laughs> That's a fair fight, right? You know? You're wearing fucking plastic underwear and, you know, you're trying to fight somebody and then someone hits you with a fucking metal chair. That's like getting swept kick when you're six years old. That's some bullshit. God damn. As you guys may notice, I am a very, I'm a black man. Um, I'm a beautiful black man. Uh, I'm also a hipster, because I'm constantly trying not to be cool. That's why I wear clothes like this, so I just can't escape it. I don't get it, man. The hipster's like a never-ending cycle. It's like, I just don't want to be a hipster, so I am a hipster. <laughs> it sucks. Can't get away from it. That's a hipster joke. Um, man. Anybody get raised by their parents when they were growing up? I did for a little bit. I did for a little bit. And uh, I, had a, I have a brother, he's eight years younger than me. And uh, was it, who, was, who was talking about getting beaten, getting their ass beat? Yeah, we don't dis, they don't discriminate. White Polish women will beat the shit out of their kids. I'm sorry, you can ask my mom. She beat the shit out of me. It wasn't a shoe. I had a spoon, a wooden spoon in place. I replaced it with a wooden spoon. When you said shoe, and I had the same reaction. But I had my ass beat. My, like, my mom, took, she like taught me shit, like, don't do that shit. She beat the fuck out of me. I appreciated it. And uh, it was like, you know, chicken's for dinner tonight. If you don't like it, you go in your room. I was like, all right. That's why I look like I do today. I'm a skinny motherfucker because of my mom. Thank you, mom, for putting me on the you ain't going to eat shit if you don't eat chicken and casserole tonight diet for 16 years. So I appreciate that. My brother, although I will say this. When you're, I don't know if there's any people that have kids or have been a part of a divorce, but as soon as like the divorce part comes around, parenting goes out the door. They say fuck it. My brother was lucky. I had to, I was in the room, no, no chicken, no nothing. This motherfucker had a spaghetti backup plan. <laughs> you don't want chicken? You don't want fucking chicken. Well, you can make SpaghettiOs. I'll make you some SpaghettiOs. That's cool. I just want you to fucking eat. I'm trying to get the fuck out of here and find my new date. It's like, what the fuck? I wish I had a SpaghettiO backup plan so I could look like Adam Bush. God damn. <laughs> fucking keeping me skinny and shit. I wish I had diabetes. God damn it. <laughs> fuck. You guys still doing all right? I don't want to take up too much time. Um... I know we're running past a couple of people's bedtimes. How you doing tonight? I've been here for the long haul. You do take a while. I know. You don't even give a shit at this point. You're just like, fuck me. I don't give a fuck. Just do it. <laughs> After a while, you're going to have to put a chair under there. It's just... Been fucked all day. Might as well keep going. Mm. It's, like, it's like Vicky's coochie. Just, just keep it coming. Like the underground, underground railroad, just bring them on in, come on. Let's go. Man. So I, uh, I just shaved my pubes a couple of days ago. Give it up for that, everybody. But before I did that, I let them go. I let them grow, and I let them, like he said back there, I let them glow. I just wanted them to be what they were. I tried it out. I didn't get laid for a couple months, but I tried it out. I felt free. It was fine. And I shaved the motherfuckers, then I debated, I was like, that's a lot of pubes. I'm looking in there. I'm like, would this be wrong to donate to Locks of Love? Would that be... That's a, that's a beard for a little baby or something. Man. That's, that's, a, that's a toupee for a, a newborn. Shit. I 
fucking help somebody out. I could do this every fucking six months. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Throw some chest in there, chest hair in there, just because I feel bad. Man, I love you guys. You guys are nice. This is a big crowd. Give it up for yourselves, everybody. Um, we're going to let some other people talk because I know there's a couple more uh, comedians here. And there's some funny people. So, uh, you guys have been a great crowd tonight. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to think if I had one more joke. And I don't. So, <laughs> you guys are awesome. I love you all. Fucking uh, Black Power, everybody. <laughs> Give it up for Marcos, everyone. Keep it going for Chris! <laughs> all right. And uh, I'm sure you know this by now, a lot of us comedians are broke. Yeah. We're talking about the ramen and the spaghetti, as we are broke. That's why for like Valentine's Day, I really couldn't like buy my wife anything nice, so I like I made her I made her a Valentine, and I thought it'd be like romantic to make it an invisible ink, invisible ink made out of my my own semen, on um, some busty chicks tits. It was like, here, honey, you don't have to wipe yourself tonight. See, it's like, we brought in a ringer. No. Damn you! <laughs> I know, I'm just joking. That was like a month before Valentine's Day. <laughs> Damn you! All right. Uh, speaking of um. Speaking of tit fucking, uh, this next gentleman, he hasn't he hasn't been here for a while, and I should have like given him warning or something. He's coming up next. I feel bad. 